Welcome to the Take a Listing Today podcast, where our hosts, Jim Studebaker and Todd Robertson, give you strategies to get you out of the office right now so you can take a new listing today. And now, here's Jim and Todd. Hey, All right. back once again. <laughs> very, very happy to be here. I'm Jim. And I'm Todd Robertson. And we are here live and in person on today's podcast, Take a Listing Today. You can find us on iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Spotify, and if you want to look at us, YouTube. YouTube has been blowing up, apparently. It's going big, and now they're wanting to send us weekly checks. We're like, keep that. We're just trying to help the people. Help exactly. The people. Unless yeah. the checks get, you know, above 65 cents, and then we'll right. say, send it on over. Correct. I think that sounds like a great deal. And, of course, with us today is our producer, Lisa. <laughs> Hello. All right. So we are going to have a wonderful show. Today's topic is about agent motivation, how to stay strong and persevere. And it's a great topic for a lot of reasons because everybody listening right now has been through it, whether in real estate or in a different career where, you know, especially in real estate where a deal can fall through, like getting kicked in the gut or a piece of mail or you have a challenge with somebody inside. Well, if we don't master this, meaning take some tools to motivate ourselves to not just, you know, have a bad hour, have a bad two hours or bad day. But if we don't master this topic, that could turn into a bad week a bad month or a bad life. So if we can do this, we can turn things around, get back in the game, and potentially by the time that day ends, take a listing today. Right, and real estate is a little different because you don't just go in and get a paycheck every week, you punch in and punch out. It's up to you to make something happen. So you've gotta have the right mindset to go make something, do something productive with your time that you have to make some sales, take some listings, close some properties. Exactly. So let's go over a couple a couple ways, share a couple ways that an agent, okay, they wake up tomorrow, they're not really motivated. What are some ways or strategies if I'm that agent that perhaps I could go out and 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 change my state, change my physiology, change my mindset, possibly re-engage? Well, there are a lot of steps to changing your mindset, but before we even get into the real estate office, what do you do in the morning to get yourself in the right mindset? And Todd, you're a master at a, a morning routine. Tell us tell us about some routines that you've used that have worked. Sure, there's a ton of great morning routines, and I attend a leadership conference in California every year, and uh, they are they pound this into your head. The whole object is this, that if you look at people out in the real world, right? They set an alarm, they wake up, they shower, they go into work two minutes before work, and like a chicken with the head cut off, that's how their day starts. Well, if we can master our morning routine, it will take care of a lot of motivation. Here's why. A great morning routine will help you plug into power. Like if we, if we take that cord and plug that into the wall, we're plugged into power. So a great morning routine, and, and people can adapt it to their own person, their own strengths, but it could be chunked down in four 15-minute increments. One could be meditation message, religion message, if that's their thing, right? So you plug it into source. Uh, one is is workout, so exercise and fuel. Mm -hmm. So that could be a small boom, boom. Mm -hmm. um, discover and declare that I learned something today, and if I learn, can I go out and implement? So you're working on some little things in the morning, so you just plug it into power. So before you get to the, your office, you've done something that 99% of the world has probably not done. And drink something. A lot of people have to start off with coffee. I've always heard chug a, a, a thing of water. <laughs> exactly. However much that is. Not a gallon, but but right. about this size is good. Uh, chug mm -hmm. that in the morning because it gets things going and, and moving correctly. Exactly. So you're on a high. You're leaving the house. You're going to the office. Hopefully you're going to the office for a good reason because when I was in real estate, everybody went to the office first thing in the morning to figure out, okay, what are we doing? And the broker said to me once, nobody in this building is going to list a house with you today. Right. So you might as well leave. Right. True story. So you're in the office, you're hanging out. Why are you in the office? Get out of the office. Here's a few ideas on why you should get out of the office. You've got to eat lunch, right? Well, take a client, either a, a prior one or somebody you're working with right now, take them out to lunch and don't have mindless drabble about how's the housewives of New York doing. How about, gee, you know anybody who wants to buy or sell real estate? That might be a good conversation to have after you've met for a while and had a few uh, few uh, drinks. Exactly, and getting out, out of the office, there's a lot that can go into that because 
it is funny, but not funny, right? So if, if I'm at the wall, water cooler, Lisa's an agent, we're sitting there. Well, if we're not going to buy or sell from each other, what are we doing to have a conversation unless it's about getting better at something we're working on? Right. So getting out of the office could entail me going by and just maybe dropping off a gift, a free report to my past client centers of influence. Just get me out during the day. I'm not asking for anything. Maybe I'm going to visit those small business owners that day that are in my carrier route or my piece of geography where I work. So that alone is going to help you stir something up. And guess what's going to happen if you do enough of that? Mm -hmm. Someone's going to say, oh, wow, what are the homes going for or over in this neighborhood? Well, why do you ask that? Well, my wife and I were considering... Well, great. Uh, the timing couldn't be better. And so why don't we do this? If you guys are considering, I'll do some homework this afternoon. I can either meet with you at four or five o'clock tonight. We'll see if we're a good fit. Share with you what we do marketing wise. See, by getting motivated and getting out of the office and doing some little things, now we have a chance to actually go out and really take a listing. And some of those small business owners might own a restaurant. So if you have some paperwork to do or something, get out of the office, take your laptop, go do it at a restaurant keep your eyes open, talk to the owner of that restaurant, see what their real estate needs are, talk with other people, the servers, find out if anybody in there is thinking about real estate. And that's a great long-term strategy, not just uh, one time, because let's say uh, I'm the owner of that restaurant or I own that oil change business or a hair salon or an auto dealership. You wanna go in there frequently because now you put them in your mover and shaker list. So now when, when they see you, whether you drop off a couple pieces of stuff for their lobby now you make introductions and then pretty soon that turns in, oh, hi, Todd, how are you? Oh, by the way, if you know anyone who wants to buy or sell real estate, let me know inventory is low. We're helping people sell houses. Now we have some momentum. Another great idea, invite another agent to lunch. It doesn't even have to be an agent in your office. If you've got an experienced agent at another office and you're new to the business, they would be flattered Beautiful. to have you ask, hey, could I take you to lunch? I want to pick your brain about how you got into the business and how you became successful. Exactly, and that's a beautiful thing, and I think a lot of agents are intimidated to ask, and the high-powered agents that have been asked, I know, have been overly willing to say, yes, drive around with me today, and boom, you're just gonna see how my day goes, we'll have lunch, but that's a great strategy because that will interrupt their own pattern to say, wow, I've been playing at this level, Lisa's playing at this level. Right, And right, only, exactly. only because she has a couple different habits during the day, a couple different mindset strategies, a couple, maybe her day is already planned. One of Lisa's strategies is to walk around the building several times a day, right? <laughs> yes, because I always see you out the window here, walking around. So checking on, uh, you know, accountability, making sure. Right. Yeah. So, but but it's actually a great idea. Go for a walk, uh, get your heart pumping, get blood flowing, change the scenery, some fresh air. Great idea, just to to motivate yourself to to get out and do something. And then, and then uh, those of you listening or watching right now, I want you to write down one word. If, if you have notes, if you have a piece of paper or your success journal, I, I want you to write down the word why. So when we're looking at this topic on motivation, okay, how do I motivate myself to go take action in a particular thing? Well, the word why, you need to take some time, whether it's tonight over a glass of wine with your success journal, but write down why am I in this business? What is my inspiration to do great? If your why is strong enough, you will get to the finish line, whether that's 20 great listings a year, a month, however it is, make sure your why is strong enough. By the way, if you're driving, do not write down while you're driving. Wait till you get to a stoplight. Mental notes, thank right. you, mental notes. Speaking of mental notes, make sure you are organized, whether it's your home, office, a restaurant, meeting with a client, be organized. A lack of organization can lead you to confusion, wasted time, and even depression. And nobody wants that. I bet there's some wonderful apps that we can use. Is that right, Lisa? Yes, that is correct. Uh, go ahead and name a few of those. I can name a few if you don't know. Oh, I, I know all of them, of course. <laughs> there's some called uh, Google Assistant, Cortana, and Robin, the AI voice assistant. Yeah, that's oh, pretty cool. Yeah. That kind of scares me a little bit. I might download that after the meeting. <laughs> pretty soon they're going to be doing your listing presentations, yes. which for well, some people it might be good. More. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, know your numbers. You want to reduce your stress and gain control by taking mystery out of your income. You should know how many <coughs> sales appointments it takes to get a listing. You should know how many listings you need to take to end up with X number of sales. You need to know how many sales it will take to meet the annual income that you desire. Very easy. Work backwards from there. It's simple math. Um, start with how many closings do you need per year or per month? 
how many listings do you need? Not every listing is going to result in a closing. So you have to take more listings than you actually expect will get closed. Lisa had a great idea. Turn your daily work into a game. And I'm all about game shows. So I'm just listening to some music in the background and <laughs> in my head right now. But <laughs> He'll any, be fine. The, uh, any comments on the talk? Because I'm actually going to find yet. some game show music while you talk about that. Oh, excellent. Yes. So so in, in terms of options... In terms of gamifying, here are a couple of fun things that you could do. I thought he was kidding about the music. He's not even kidding about it. It's going on right now. This would not rehearse either by you guys. Um, so in terms of gamifying it, here, here's an idea. Let's say you're going through a day and you're having some challenges. You can't get the motors running. Gamify it could mean this. It could mean, you know what? I'm going to give myself a small reward. Maybe it's going to happy hour. Maybe it's going to meet some friends at a different place. Maybe it's I'm going to go buy this great business book. But gamify might mean I'm not going to take myself out of my whole day. I'm going to look at the clock. I'm going to reset. Doesn't matter if it's 11 a.m. I've had a terrible morning. I've been beat up. And I will just start over and look at the clock. And I will set the alarm and say from 11 to 12, right? I'm a real estate agent that no incoming calls, I'm just outbound call, and I can see the finish line, I could push for one hour. Mm -hmm. and the interesting thing is if you can gamify it and push that for one hour, some of those will turn into longer conversations. So, so before you know it, it's two and a half hours, you're off the phone, you made it fun, you gave yourself a small reward, you re-engage in the game. You didn't take yourself out of the game. One of the things I actually would do was I would get index cards, and if I okay. had 20 phone calls I wanted to make, I would grab 20 index cards and each oh. call I made, I'd grab an index card and put it aside until I got down to no in index cards left and I knew I was done. Nice. And now, of course, back in the day, I was also writing information on those index cards, which we don't necessarily have to do anymore. Right. But um, it was a way for me to, when I'm done with the index card pile, I'm done. Until then, I'm not. So it became a little bit of a game. Exactly. Nice. A lot of different methods you can use to, to make it a game and make it exciting. And, and to go along with being excited, you need to stay motivated. And one way to do that is to listen to something motivational, maybe a podcast or a YouTube video. Um, I might recommend the Take a Listing Today podcast. I, I hear I, that's I excellent, that by the yes. way. I might be biased, but I hear it's unbelievable. And, and iTunes um, favorite, I think. Yes. I believe so. Coming up as iTunes yeah. favorite. Like, like the New York Times bestseller uh, right. of podcasts, yeah. if that's a yeah. thing. Yeah, I don't think it is. So, okay, yeah. so moving on anyway. So... Um, <laughs> Audiobooks. There's a lot of motivational audiobooks to listen to while you're driving. If you're going to an appointment or going to the office or going to lunch, instead of listening to 80s music, why not turn on a motivational podcast or audiobook? Or if you want to listen to music, choose something that gets you inspired. Create a playlist of those songs and play it every morning to get you pumped up, especially when you start to fizzle out. And as funny as that is, um, I worked for Tony Robbins many years, Anthony Robbins, right? And he taught us a, a, a lot of tools. You know, people think, oh, he's a motivational seminar. He says, no, I'm going to give you tools to inspire yourself. But he always gave tools. So on the way to a presentation, we used to sell tickets to his event. Mm -hmm. So he would always say, put some pump up music on. Mm -hmm. And or he talked about listening to a comedian that you like that will make you laugh and put you in a good frame of mind. So now when you go in front of that group, whether it's 30 people or 500 people, you already know what you're going to say and do, but you come in with a relaxed sense of confidence and your spirit's better and your energy's better. And you just feel like, boom, I am unstoppable. Exactly. So to wrap up, don't forget your circle of friends. Surround yourself with your colleagues from work, friends on a personal level that have a positive outlook on their life and their career. And if you happen to come up short on optimistic people to surround yourself with, Create your own little circle on social media, Instagram or Facebook, and find like-minded people who have a positive attitude and a drive towards success. And finally, last topic, create some micro goals. Set a daily to-do list for the next day or the night before. Do the list the night before so your day is planned before it starts. And then cross off items as you do them. It will make you feel better. And to plus what Jim just said, which I think is outstanding, if someone really does have a motivational challenge, let's say it's long term, you've been going through it long term, hopefully not, but there's a little strategy called future pacing. So, so here's what that does. You can take out a piece of paper or your journal in terms of motivation and say, okay, if I look at all the variables in my life right now, my, my health habits, my eating habits, my work habits, my discipline, I'm a realtor, right? Independent contractor. So are, are those serving me now? 
And let's say motivation is a challenge now and you're, well, future pacing means this. It means telling yourself the truth. And it says, if I don't change anything now, what, my, what will my life be like a week, a month, a year, 10 years from now, where I have the ability right now is to sit down and say, you know what, two or three things aren't serving me. I'm going to implement some of these things these guys have discussed and future pace that out and say, wow, mm -hmm. if I did make a couple of changes on things that aren't serving me, what will my life be like in 90 days, two years, 10 years? It's like a sailboat. You alter the sail a little tiny bit. Initially, it doesn't seem like a big difference. 10 years from now, you're on a different continent. And who makes the difference? Who makes the decision where you go? Boom. Personal exactly. responsibility. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, there's the song. That is our show on... Enjoy the beach and thank you for joining us. Yeah, the beach is nice out there. That is our show on Agent Motivation and today's podcast, as well as all of our podcasts, are brought to you by Prospects Plus. And of course, they offer wonderful prospecting materials for your real estate career. So check them out at prospectsplus.com. And next week, a wonderful show, especially if you ever take listings or perhaps you try to take listings and you're not quite successful, tune in next week for a great show. Talk to you then. <laughs>